You know, more people are taking to water sports and water activities to pass the time this summer. But after two men recently drowned at Rose Lake in Hocking Hills, now is an important time to refresh yourself with some basic safety rules of the water. Danielle Grossman is live at Alum Creek Park with more. And Danielle, what's the first thing to remember when you're out there on the water? Yeah, Matt, well, according to officials, those two men died because they were on rope swings. But whether you're doing that or you're near water and on a craft like this, always have a life that's near you or on you at all times. It is so important. And Jeff Large right here, who's with the Ohio Department of Natural Resources, he gave me some amazing safety tips that you should be aware of if you plan on kayaking, canoeing, or boating this summer. Um, so, yeah, a lot more kayaking, a lot more swimming, a lot more boating. Traffic's definitely up. With COVID 19 hitting pause in almost all entertainment, people are turning to nature. So, when you're putting these on, you just want to make sure they're not too tight, but you want to make sure they are snug enough. Jeff Large is a naturalist here at Alum Creek State Park, and he gave me a first hand lesson about water safety. Now, let's talk about kayaks. If you own or rent one, there are some things to remember. First thing I would do is kind of come up with a float plan as far as where you want to kayak. I hopped on one, life vest and sunscreen on. Definitely want to check the weather ahead of time. My concern is, what happens if I tip over? Somewhere like this where you can see land and you're probably not going to be too far offshore, I would actually push it in and swim to shore with the kayak. And if you are too far, Jeff says, leave the kayak, get to safety. Now let's talk about paddle boarding, something that's becoming increasingly popular. So you want to make sure you're out far enough where it's not hitting the bottom, you're not scraping. And start on your knees, stand up when you're further out. So whether you're kayaking, canoeing, paddle boarding, or even boating, Jeff has one major thing everyone should remember. Um, be just aware of your surroundings out here with it being a little bit heavier traffic this year. Watch for other boaters. All right, so Jeff tells me that this life vest, it's still approved if you're near the water like this, but it'll only keep your head above water. So it's important, it's a better option, I would say, to have one like this. It fills you up perfectly and can help you float if you do fall in the water. So it's so important to have a flotation vice on you at all times. Now let's take a look at Jeff over here. He's on a paddleboard. If you feel like you're going to fall off this paddleboard, he says to jump far away from the board to make sure it doesn't hit you when you land in the water. Matt? Interesting. I've never paddleboard and, and um, good, you know, good lesson to learn. But what if someone needs a lesson in, in case they want to learn how to paddleboard or kayak? Yeah, paddle boarding is not easy, Matt. I've done it before. It took me quite a bit to learn how to do it. But unfortunately, ODNR is not offering any lessons because of COVID-19 right now. But I did list on our website, NBC4i.com, tons of locations where you can rent kayaks like this. You can rent paddle boards. And there's possibly offering private lessons as well if you want to learn how to do these water sports this summer. Guys.